Do you go to school on Saturdays? Do you wear a uniform? Do you like school? Well, in this programme, we look at British schools and British students. Most children start primary school at the age of five. Then, at 11, they go to secondary school. All children stay at secondary school to the age of 16. And at 16 in England, they take GCSE examinations. That is, the General Certificate of Secondary Education. After these exams, about 30% of students leave school. The others usually study three subjects for two more years and then take A-levels or advanced level examinations. About 20% of 18-year-olds go to university. They usually leave home and go to a university in a different town or city. Another 20% go on to other kinds of education and training. This is the John Mason School in Abingdon, near Oxford. Students go to school from Monday to Friday, and school starts at 9 o'clock. Hurry up, it's nearly 9 o'clock. Most schools are mixed. They're for boys and girls. And at most secondary schools, the students wear a uniform. This is the first class of the day. It's maths. Hmm, that's a bit difficult. On average, there are about 22 students in a secondary school class and about 27 are in a primary school class. British students have a wide choice of subjects. This is an art class. Here's a food technology class. The students learn about food and cooking. This is a design and technology class. Science, of course. And foreign languages. Many British school children only learn a foreign language from the age of 11. Most students study French. Other popular languages are Spanish and Italian. They also study other subjects, like information technology, history, geography, English literature and religion. Students have lessons in the morning and then a break of an hour for lunch. Some go home for lunch, some bring sandwiches with them and some eat here in the school canteen. What's on the menu today? Uh, chips and beans. There are classes in the afternoon and school finishes at about four o'clock. After school, some students do other activities, like sport. Football's very popular. But so are other games, like netball, rugby and badminton. And some students learn music. Daniela plays the violin. She's good. Oh, thank you. I'm not. Ninety-two percent of British schools are state schools. That means they're free. The government pays, not the parents. 8% of schools are independent. The parents of these students pay for their education. 
Some of these independent schools are boarding schools. The students don't live at home during term time, they live at the school. And some of these schools have very traditional uniforms. These boys are from Eton, a very famous independent school near Windsor. What do British students really think about their schools? I think school is great. I like school most of the time. I really like history and art. I love art and drama. I don't like geography. I don't like French. Homework's OK. I don't like homework. I really hate homework. School food's all right sometimes. I love school food. Well, what do you think? Are British schools good? Or do you prefer your school? <laughs>